and welcome to Lewis Wilson is now playing games on a console. I know it's really weird. Uh, basically, I got my um, capture card set up, which is excellent. Because Jesus Christ, green screen, because it means that I will be able to play games from a console. There's not enough. Yeah, I have to manage the memory card, I suppose. Right. Um, never mind. This is going horribly. You get some behind the scenes, I guess. While I, um, edit what is currently on my GameCube memory card. Anyway, um, Jesus, there's a lot of stuff on here. I didn't play Harry Potter. Oh, Shrek Extra Large. Trust me, we'll get to Shrek Extra Large. I have two, apparently. Which is great. Well, I'll delete that because that's the one that I'm playing. And who, who, who is, who is Sam, really? Anyway, there has been right. Yeah, good. Um, yeah, I've got my capture card. Currently, I'm actually downstairs in the living room, so it's entirely possible that Big Mama Wilson or Ryan could walk in and suddenly be involved. Uh, who knows? Well, you will, because if it if it does happen, I'll probably end up making it the title. Because it probably won't be too interesting to watch me play the first section, if you will, of this game. Because this game is honestly not massively interesting. I remember it being quite cool. Um, I used to really like it. Maybe I was just a dumb kid. I remember getting to the final boss, and it was absolutely ridiculous I mean j like ridiculous a because just the game itself had a massive difficulty spike and B it ridiculous because what the fuck was that twist evolution games I've never heard of them did they do anything outside of this <laughs> Nickelodeon rocket power beach bandits now for those of you who don't know rocket power it was about four I think they were 12 year olds? I have no idea. Uh, four 12 year old individuals who were all into skating and rollerblading and stuff. And, um, yeah. I, had, I honestly don't even remember that much about it myself. I remember I used to think it was kind of cool, but it was never one of my favorite shows. That's Sam. He's the one who's, um, kind of. How do, how do I word it? He's the, the nerdy one. That's Otto. He is siblings to Reggie, who is the girl. And I can't for the life of me remember who the fourth one is. Dougie or something? Yeah. In case you haven't noticed, I don't actually remember massive amounts about the show or this game. Except that the ending was... had a ridiculous... I want to say twist. But I don't know. And ro yeah, Rocket Power was never really one of the strongest Nickelodeon cartoons. That was such a cool intro. <clears throat> Except not because I gave really shitty commentary over it. So probably not that interesting for you or cool for that matter. Uh, yes, Rocket Power Beach Bandits. Yes. In case you forgot what you were playing, of course. The zine is the magazine, and it, it looks like it says Zine, and that's unfathomably frustrating. Um, what's in the extras? You can watch a Rugrats trailer or a SpongeBob trailer. They're for other games by THQ. We're not going to look at those, because why would we? And... I don't need a tutorial. I, I think we get one in the game anyway. Do I want to save? Well, I did complete so much. I did I did a lot this play session. Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, I think I will save. I'll save in memory card slot A. That's... Yeah, make one. See, what? Sam? Um, right. Do you know what? Yeah, fine, fine. We'll, we'll be Sam. Oh, maybe Sam? Oh, because that's the name of one of the kids. Well, why would you pick Sam out of all four of the kids? Why... Why Sam? Uh, I don't know. Let's go. School's out for summer. Let's get down to the shore shack for some outrageous thick shakes and some serious grindage. Oh, I'm so hungry. 
Then time for the first surf of a long, long summer. Last one to the shore shack's a squid. You're on, Sammy. Oh, no. Guys, look. The sand. It's all gone. My surfing. I can't go out on that. We'd be totally cut to shreds. There's more at stake than just your surfing, Otto. What about the shore shack? If they shut down the beach, all the tourists will disappear. Not to mention the surf contest. Double bogus. The Ocean Shores Classic is only a week away. Raimundo will be majorly bummed. There's a lot of awkward silence in these cutscenes. Hey, I think they're going to say something. Ah, good afternoon, my fellow Ocean Shores citizens and visitors to our fair area. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed a slight <laughs> reduction in the quality of our beach overnight. I would just like to assure you that there is no reason to be alarmed. I'm sure this is purely a temporary problem, and rest assured that we are working to fix this issue as soon as we can. On that note, I'd like to welcome Eric Gollum, whose real estate and construction company has recently decided to make Ocean Shores its home. On that note, as a gesture of goodwill, Mr. Gollum has pledged his science division to find the answer to our anomalous sand deficiency. Thank you. Doesn't he just look trustworthy? Honestly. Thank you, and good afternoon, everybody. When I first saw Ocean Shores, I said to myself, what a marvelous, friendly community. Just the kind of place you would want to take your family on vacation. Or for some of you lucky few, to live here all year round. That's why I decided to come here and do my best to help turn Ocean Shores into the best possible place it could be. Now I know some of you are a little worried about the sand, but rest assured that one of my top hydrodanological titians is looking into the problem. And he's sure that it's just a combination of freak tides and some new underwater currents in the bay. We can fix the problem with a new harbor wall, which I will be only too happy to build free of charge. So don't be surprised if you see teams of my technicians over the next few weeks. I'm sure things will be back to normal before the end of summer. Thank you for your patience. There's something fishy about that guy. Definitely. Hydrodynological titian. Yeah, right. We better keep our eyes peeled and go see what Raimundo thinks. We need to try and find out what's going on around here, or there will be no summer for any of us. We hear you, brother. Yeah, they're, they're all sort of, um... Yo, dude, radical, gnarly! And that that is kind of a... a, a well... See, I'm Sam. Why, Sam. Why would I want to be Sam? Um... Okay, never mind. I was hoping to change the incredibly strange, sensitive, and inverted camera controls. Twister! That was his name. Twister. I should have remembered that. He was my favorite. I'll be him. About time I saw some action. Yeah, alright. Easy, bucko. Um, no, yeah, these... Oh, that's bogus. That's bogus, if I may say. I'm getting down with the, uh, with the surf kid lingo. God, mama would love this game. Let's talk to these guys. One of them is called Raymundo. Things are not looking good, Tito. I hear you, brother. As the ancient Hawaiians say, no tourists means no paychecks for tourist resort Franco. No rentals either, especially with the beach being off limits. And no Ocean Shore Surf Classic unless the sand comes back by next week. First one I've missed in 20 years. Come on, guys. Cheer up. The sand will come back. I'm sure of it. 
even if we have to shovel it back ourselves. We'll go take a look around and see if we can find anything out. Okay, guys, whatever you want. I'm, I can't remember the relation Raymundo has with these guys. I think he's the the dad stroke carer of Otto and Reggie, but don't take my word for that. I know, I, I remember barely anything about this show. That is a surprising amount of damage I took, given how far this little kid jumped. Um, we're gonna talk to these three. They were bullies. You can tell because they're older and they look like they would be bullies. Just fucking look at them. J oh, Jesus. Check it out. I think it's watching us. Take me to your leader. What is it, Lars? Let us see. You wish, Maurice. This is our hangout. Under the pier is for big kids only. <laughs> Twerp. Make them prove their worthiness, oh mighty Lars. As if. I could mop up the bowl with any of you. Okay then, Rocket Bozo. I'm calling you out. Let's see if you can beat me on the half pipe. I've been practicing. Otto versus Pie in the pipe it is. But if he wins, you've got to show us what you've got there. Deal? All right, bro. But if we win, you're going to clean my room out for me. I hope it was worth it. Surely if Maurice is going to be the one that receives the punishment, he should be the one that does the thi- never mind. Otto is the one that everyone trusts, apparently, but he's the one that is the least reliable and lets everyone down. He's kind of the, the dick of the group, if I remember. The one that is not very trustworthy. Overwrite data! Yeah! Now let's learn. Let Okay. Okay, let's try a 50-50 grind. Come up the ball edge while pressing the grind button. Right, hold down B to go. Okay. I thought it was like, um, uh, Tony Hawk controls, and you needed to hold the ollie button. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm ahead of the game. See, check it. I actually remember most of this. Um, it did have a multiplayer thing, and it was really cool, but, um... All I remember is it mainly turned into my brother and I just uh, <laughs> just mashing the controller in whatever order. Oh fuck! In whatever sort of way we could, and it turned out Ryan would normally win because he would just push every button every way he could, and yeah, so that's great. Try to rocket flip! Whoa, dude, no! The double hand grab looks pretty chill. It's only 3,000, I mean, it's not that big. Oh, I could have gone bigger, come on! Prick. Alright, now we got to let him go. Mix it up, big boys. Time for some air. Who's scoring this? Just keep spinning. Now for some grabs. All right. Yeah, I'm not interested to watch this. Great, let's do it. Ooh. Fuck your grinds. What do you take me for? Little bitch. Yo. Oh, come on. That was so a 360. Ooh. Ooh. Mm-mm. I'm so good at this game, apparently. Okay. I don't even know how I got that. Did you say that Dick is your middle name? 
it is too easy, you are correct. Mainly because it's a tutorial, so it, w it wouldn't be that challenging. I got the gold coin as well, which, you know, is pretty excellent. Um, yes, rocket power, woo, beach bandits, etc. Um, yeah, this is just really dull for me. This is just doing the same thing over and over again now. Who's the man? I don't know. Probably me. Oh, I still haven't... I, I haven't done a single grind yet. Don't worry. Worry. That was... Okay. I like how skateboards can just be drawn from the floor through the land of... I don't know, Oz or some shit? Whatever. Why did so many people dislike Oz the Great and Powerful? I don't get that. I thought it was kind of cool. I mean, it was... I thought it was... I, I'm not going to say it was fantastic. It was okay. You know, I... Straight 7 out of 10 film. Not a bad movie by any means. Okay. Un... Oh yeah, I don't want to retry, I fucking did it. So we'll get some plot, and then I think we will end this excitingly mediocre part. Okay, Pi. Are you going to show us what you've got under the pier or not? Or do you need another thrashing to encourage you? Alright, follow me. A deal is a deal. Come on. Check it out, Dweebo. We found it here this morning. We think it has something to do with the missing Sam. There's only one explanation. Space aliens! Space aliens! Twister, look what you did! Seriously, they're not space aliens. Look. This is the same logo that Suit Guy has on all his stuff. He must be connected to all this somehow. Not space aliens. I knew that Gollum guy was up to something. He must have taken the sand somehow. Come on, we better tell Dad. He'll know what to do. I just want to point out if this villain is stupid enough to put his logo on his weapons of mass bad things, maybe he's not that big of a threat. Anyway, thank you for watching, and join me in the next excitingly mediocre Let's Play part of Let's Play Rocket Power Beach Bandits. I'll see you next time. Bye!